Hello and welcome back to the fifth video on Adobe Photoshop Elements. My name is Armando Barcenas and I'm very happy to take you through a new tutorial on creating your own custom bros. This custom brush is going to be used a lot, especially if you're developing your images and you want to tell the people that that image is yours. So it's going to be your signature and copyright uh, brush. Okay, so what we need for this, we're going to need a handwrite style of font, okay, or a script font. Uh, we're also going to need uh, the copyright symbol, uh, which is a C uh, encapsulated into a, a round circle, okay? And we're going to need um, a blank canvas, okay? So the blank canvas comes from, it could come from over here, it could come from file new, blank file, or it could simply come from command control and for new, okay? So over here, we're going to give that a name of signature. Okay, and we're going to use an international paper like A4, and that's fine, 300 pixels per square inch is great, and we can maybe do it at 400 actually, that would give us a little bit more uh, detail into it. And it's going to be RGB color, it's going to, although the signature is going to be black, uh, and explain that in a minute. And we have a background which is going to be white. And we click OK. So now here we have our black canvas, a uh, blank canvas. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to select the letter T, all right, and we're going to click over here, right in the center, and See how small that is. We need to increase that to maybe, let's say, say 14, let's say 24. Okay. And we're going to type like John Doe, although I like typing this one, Fulanito. All right. The tal, the apostrophe, tal. All right, so we have that there. And uh, we need to apply color, which is here. We're going to do black for that. OK. And well, basically, we need to actually select this text uh, because we should have done that at the beginning. Oh, well, let's say like that. And delete that. Delete this. Uh, yes, and we're going to start again, okay, so we go on the letter T, we select the color this time, and it's black, the size of 24, that's grand, uh, we go in here, the font will come across to that, okay, so we're going to type Fulanito space capital D apostrophe capital T tal okay so we have full anito the tal there uh, and we're going to highlight it all right and we're going to increase the size to a little bit bigger than 24 let's make it 30 and that is grand okay so we click that we have these buttons here that allows us to Click hold and press alt and increase the size of the text just a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay? And we click OK in there. So these handles here are annoying, okay? Because we don't actually need them at the moment. So in order to get rid of this, we need to go to the move tool and go down to show bounding bones and just click that that gets rid of them all right so what next 
Well, we need to have a look on our font list. Now, I have a massive font list, okay, or library because of my job, which is a graphic designer. And I have some that I particularly love and I have purchased a commercial uh, license for them because I use them a lot, okay? So, but most fonts are free to use for personal use, okay? Uh, one of the websites that are good for that is the 1001fonts.com. I will advise you to go there and have a look at a font that you like, a, a, a script font, which is something like this, okay? And I happen to like that one. Actually, Tesa Oblique. I actually have the conversion license for it. It's not that expensive. Another uh, site that is good for this type of font is Embato, okay, dot com. Uh, so you can venture there. I'll put the links below, okay? So we're going to go for this one and we're going to click OK. So it looks nice. Uh, for Fulanito de Tal. So what is Fulanito de Tal means? Basically, it means John Doe in Spanish, okay? But it looks quite good as a signature. So the next one that we're going to do, we're going to click on the T again, and this time we're going to go down here, and we're going to type in capital letters. So we select capital letters on your keyboard, and we're going to type photography. Okay, and just space that, we're going to need our famous copyright symbol. So I have one of my favorites here. You need to find somewhere to get the text to insert uh, symbols. You can get it in Word or somewhere, okay, so double click there to insert it that's grand and we're going to click OK and we can't indeed double click that and increase the size all right to about uh, maybe 30 30 is fine uh, we can select the likes of the uh, let me see, Copertine, uh, Copertine, do we have it here? Uh, there we go, Copper Black is too much, Copper Play Light, that's good, Copper Play Light, that would be excellent for that, and we click okay right so if we go to our layer palette okay we notice three things we have a log layer which is the background okay that is the white paper here we have full anito de tal which is this one here with the fancy writing and we have photography which is our last layer on it okay so what happens if i do click, hold, and drag, and put it below Fulanito. The text doesn't actually move over in the page, okay? But what it does is it gives you the sensation of Fulanito comes first, which is true, and then photography comes next, and the background comes third, okay? Now, what we need to do now is basically decide where we're going to put this. And you know how when you move this, it's very bitty, it's a snapping, okay? Which means that we need to go to view and click uh, snap to guidelines, all right? Uh, we want to take that off, we want to snap to layers, and view snap to documents. So we don't want it to snap anywhere, so we want to move it 
nice free from snapping into anything all right so we're going to bring this and we're going to put it out there all right and then once we have the two of them in the center all right so how do we know if they're centered well we're going to go into here we're going to unlock that padlock we're going to select that and we're going to go into uh, let me see yes image transform free transform and we get these dot boxes okay uh, and basically we have the center center and what we want is basically to go with a guideline and put it back on the center there okay and then click OK so we have now a center line and in this center line we're going to do the same with Fulanito here and select that we then press command control T for transform and we can see the dots with the arrow keys on your keyboard you can actually take that and bring it to be at the center with that ruler guide all right so that is bang in there excellent we click that on the layer palette we come and select photography and we do the same command or control t all right and we move it along with the cursor keys all right and it's there we press enter and we are happy with that okay the only exception is that this in accordance to the A4 page is massive, all right? So what we're going to do is that we're gonna switch off the background layer, all right? And we have this transparency background, all right? And we need to have it transparent so that when we create the brush, the brush itself is transparent. So wherever you put it, is going to look on top of the image whatever image you choose from okay and it needs to be black because black is not a color black is actually a, a tone so you have to have a tone that can change uh, colors funny enough as we say so what we're going to do is we're going to press shift on our keyboard and we're going to click onto Funalito layer so that the two are linked and then we're going to go into the layer menu up here and we're going to go down to merge visible okay so the layer that is invisible as it's not going to become one it's going to be left out okay so we click that and now we have just two layers. We have the layer zero, which is the background, and we have the signature, okay? So at this point, we're gonna press Control or Command T. So we select that, okay? And we're going to place our cursor there. We're gonna click, hold, and bring down. If we press Shift, we press Alt, uh, we press Alt and then bring it down to about that size, okay? And that size is a width of 39.30% by a height of 39.30%. And that's grand, okay? So we click OK. So now we have a much more uh, realistic size for a signature, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the navigator and we're going to increase the magnification, all right? I know it seems a lot of uh, swings and roundabouts to do this once you get experience on managing uh, elements, you'll be zooming with this, okay? So we want it to be big enough so that we can see the black ink in there, okay? So now we, we have it at this size we're going to go into the magic wand. Now the magic wand is a selecting tool that selects the shades of similar colors or that one shade, okay? So it has to be the wee yellow one, okay? And we're gonna click there, right in the middle of it. 
and you will see the thousand ands running around the letter T. However, if we bring the cursor N, it will convert into an arrow with a box. When it's like that, at that point we want to right click and select similar. So it will select the entire signature and work of photography and copyright and nothing else is selected. So at this point we go into our keyboards again and we will press command control C for copy. All right. And then we're going to go into edit in the menu and go down where it says define brush selection. All right. And we click there once and that's it. So now what are we going to call this brush? We can call it signature. copyright all right and that's it that is how you create a custom brush okay uh, you click OK and we switch this off we will never need it again so we don't save it and that's it so what we do next is we're going to go and double click on here to do what what happens when we double click our work in space it opens up file open all right and it brings this okay so we're gonna go into here and we're going to bring the image that we developed all right so we have raw files no photos developed yes so we're gonna open the <coughs> the raw file that we did and save it as a PSD file. So we're going to open that, okay? And we have that image. And because it's still under Photoshop uh, files, right? We can go into layer, and you will see that that layer is open. I mean, locked. And for that reason, it gives you the no entry symbol. Okay? You cannot touch that unless you either copy that layer or unlock it. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock that layer. Okay. And this action will come Okay. All right. So and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a transparent blank layer. Okay. So it's that one there. This is all the different types of layers that we can have. But in another exercise, I will show you how all the layers work. Okay, so we're going to click on there and we'll create a blank one. All right, so nothing else needs to be said in there. Okay, other than let's name it signature. All right, and that's it. So then we come here and we select the brush tool, all right? Or we simply press the letter B on our keyboard. And there it is, look. Fulanito Tal signature. But what happens? A signature is massive, isn't it? So we can either come here and reduce the size of it, and it's too little. So what did we say that we do to do it on here as uh, what keys do we use? Exactly the square keys, okay, or oh, square bracket keys. After the letter P, we're going to press uh, the right hand side one just to give it a little bit of height and that. Now I can put it there and then some smart person is going to come and just delete that. So you want to place your signature and make it difficult to be removed all right although the experienced people on photoshop or anything else if they want your image they will have it okay but it's already watermarked and now we're going to put our own signature on top of it so if we click black all right let's click on black you can hardly see it okay so maybe a different color will be best so we press Control Z to undo, all right? And we're gonna come here and click there 
and you have a selection of colors to choose from. How many exactly? Well, it was something about 254 million colors to choose from, and you can create your own as well. So it's limitless. So I will say, let's go for a kind of white. Okay, I will click there. All right, and then we try again. And that is better. Okay, now what you must do as well with your signature is that where it says opacity, you want to make it a little bit less because the, what you don't want is for the person looking at the picture to be distracted by your signature. So you need to tone it down a bit. All right, just about there. All right, so 60% or maybe even at 70%, it will give you quite a, a good accentuation there, okay? So, and that is that. So now, and only now, yeah, you will press Control S, and that will update this file, which is in Photoshop, okay? And we click Save, all right? That will update the original Photoshop file that you have here present, okay? And then you can go into File, Save As, and this time we're gonna come here and we're going to select JPEG, all right? And now that photograph is going to be encapsulated, all right? onto a JPEG and it also encapsulate all the information we typed and copyright and watermarked everything okay so that is grand down here where it says color all right unless you are using that reference of color range remember how you had to uh, say whether or not you wanted sRGB or Adobe RGB blah blah blah, blah. Uh, you will say yes or no. Now I use the other one, so I'm not going to embed this color range here, so I will save. All right, and it saves at 4.8 megabytes. Okay, and I will say yes. If I was going to put it into the web, I will use a progressive, all right, or optimize for web. Uh, so that increases the, the memory for that. So, so because it's just a JPEG and I have the original, I don't need to worry about this. So we're going to go and say OK. And that's it. You are ready to launch it and share it on anywhere you want. OK, so I hope you have enjoyed this. This little course is basically the basics to start producing your, your magic and photography. If you have any questions, please get in touch. Uh, I put my details below, or you can reach me through my website, or even if you want to see my own photography, it would be awesome. Uh, my website is at upic.com forward slash A-R-B-J-R. See you now.